The Cleveland Cavaliers have started this NBA season red hot joining the elite 12-0 or better club. They've become just the 8th NBA team to do this, so in this video I want to cover all the NBA teams who achieved this feat and discuss what happened to them. The first NBA team to achieve this feat no longer exists. That's right, I'm talking about the Washington Capitals, which share no history with the Bullets or Wizards of today. This specific franchise went defunct after the 1951 NBA season. They started off their 1948 49 season going 15-0. They finished that season going 38-22, which landed them first in the BAA Eastern Division. They made it all the way to the finals in 1949, losing to the Minneapolis Lakers in six games. The second team to go 12-0, or rather 14-0, was the 1957-58 Boston Celtics. They ended that season with a 49-23 record, winning 68% of their games, and Bill Russell was named MVP for the regular season. As for the postseason, they made it all the way to the finals, but they lost to the Hawks in six games. Games. This was Bill Russell's second NBA season and his only finals loss. He was a rookie champ in the previous season. The third team to start a season going 12-0 was the 1982-83 Seattle Supersonics. They ended their season going 40-34, which was fourth in the Western Conference, and they actually got bounced in the first round to the fifth-seeded Blazers, so they didn't have much postseason success. David Thompson was the only player to make the All-Star team that season, averaging 16 points per game, although Jack Sigma at 18 points per game and Gus Williams at 20 points per game did not get selected despite having a better season. The fourth team to start a season undefeated was the 15-0 Houston Rockets in 1993-1994. And yes, this is what many consider Hakeem Olajuwon's perfect season as he grabbed himself an MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and a Finals MVP as the Rockets ended up beating the Knicks in seven games in that Finals. They ended the season with a record of 58-24, which was second in the Western Conference. The fifth team to start a season 12-0 was the 1996-1997 Chicago Bulls. The Bulls ended up going 69 nice and 13. They went on to beat the Jazz 4-2 in the NBA Finals, and of course this was the year Karl Malone won MVP, not Michael Jordan, but Jordan did grab the Finals MVP, which he considers far more important. The sixth team to have an undefeated start to a season was the 2002-03 Dallas Mavericks going 14-0. Both Steve Nash and Dirk Nowitzki made the All-Star team on this roster for this season, and they ended the season going 60-22, which was third in the Western Conference. As far as the postseason is concerned, they made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals, losing to the Spurs in six games. The seventh team to start a season undefeated was the 2015-2016 Golden State Warriors with a whopping record of 24-0, the best start in NBA history. Of course, this is the 73-9 Golden State Warriors who had the best regular season record in NBA history, so we all know their fate in the postseason. They're infamous for blowing that 3-1 lead in the finals to LeBron and the Cavs. At least Steph became the first unanimous MVP this season. And the eighth and most recent team to start a season undefeated are these 2024-25 Cleveland Cavs. Cavaliers. Of all of these teams, only four teams have won MVPs and just two teams won the chip. So if history predicts the future, then the Cavs have a 50% chance of having an MVP player on their roster and a 25% chance to win it all. That's if you want to count them into the division pool. If you divide by seven instead of eight, they have a 57% chance of winning MVP and a 28% chance of winning it all. So will the Cavaliers end up as championships with an MVP on this roster or will they fall short? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.